Welcome to the first video in my quick bit series. In this uh, series we discuss general programming tips and I recently released part 3 of my folium guide. You can check it out in the description. Um, and I introduced some duplicate code and duplicate code in general is bad practice. So in this video we're going to go over how to fix it, um, how to find it and uh, yeah, replace it with something better. So let's take a look at what we did. Uh, in the folium series we use uh, folium right here to create some HTML file, which you see on the right. And in the HTML file, there are a couple of important variables which we want to parse out, namely this one and this one over here, the pop-up and the map variable. And we created two functions for this, namely the find map variable name, as well as the find pop-up variable name. And as you can see, uh, we recognize that it's duplicate code because they basically do the same thing but we hard-coded some pattern into there. So what we'd like to do is create a function that's, that, that's called, for example, find variable name. And what we could do is we could pass the HTML to it and we could pass this second part of this pattern to it. So we could find any variable starting with, you know, some string. So let's create that function and then replace the use over here to see if it uh, keeps working. All right, so we say define find variable name. Perfect. And it requires the HTML. And as we discussed, the name start. And we will define a variable pattern, which will be the var and the space. And we'll describe the total pattern, like in the previous one, as the variable pattern plus the name start. All right, and this was Bas this basically replaces this part and as we see uh, this part is identical in the functions we're replacing so I'm going to copy and paste it in there and what I'm also going to do is say um, we have this variable pattern now so we could look in the future for consts or lets and they might have a different length uh, so it's good to replace this hard-coded for uh, with the length of the variable pattern like so Perfect. So I feel like now we've replaced it correctly, so we can give some custom name start. So let's try and test it out. Uh, over here we get the variable names. I'm going to take this code and comment it out real quick. And what I'll do is I'll copy and paste doing so, and I'll replace it with the find variable name function we just created. And over here I will uh, pass the name starts basically so one of them is map underscore for the map variable name and we've also got the uh, let well I'm actually gonna copy and paste it because that's uh, smarter I think so we copy this name with the underscore it doesn't have to be with the underscore but it's fine like this um, and then I would like to print them in between so we can see that they're the same so print this one comma this one and we'll also print it after we found it using the new method mm. alright so we print it twice in the first line we'll hopefully see the same as in the second line and if that's the case um, we've correctly removed the duplicate code and we can remove these two functions so let me make sure I'm in the right terminal perfect Python main we run the code alright and we see ending on 05 and ends on 05 as well and this one's the same as well and most importantly they're exactly the same as currently in the file so that was the tutorial on how to recognize and fix duplicate code or a example of it uh, hope it was helpful if it was helpful please like the video check out some of my other series and uh, please subscribe and i'll hope to see you in the next one have a nice day